Hello everyone, uh, just sitting here actually with my little Arizona lizard, who's just a little baby here. He's probably only an inch and a half in body length and his tail is really, really long. It goes way past what you can see here. But anyway, and I wanted to open up a can of paint and found out that uh, it's an old can of paint. So what I did was just used a flathead screwdriver and pried up, you know, around the edge like this. Oh, sorry, that's my wrist brace for carpal tunnel I might be getting or something, who knows. Anyway, after that, I found, by sheer accident actually, because I was too lazy to get up and get anything else to try, I had a pair of these. These are called side cutters. And all I do is take this, and once you lift up those lips, just take it and go like this, all the way around. And this can hasn't been opened yet, so we're doing this together. But I did do a small can. It was actually this one right here. That's just a little pint can. But anyway, back to this guy. Going like this. And just kind of take your time. And go little by little. And I found that I know it's really hard to open up a can that's been sitting for a, a while and it gets rusted so I'm glad they're kind of coming out with the plastic lids now which is pretty cool I've seen those in Home Depot actually I have a can right here just got the plastic lid on it now so those are really easy to open they don't rust so as we keep going here with my carpal tunnel brace and see how it starts popping up and I found this to be the easiest way really to get it without um... now I hope I can do this one-handed because I should be doing it with two but see how it's got the uh, lit up yeah how about that look at that so just uh little idea don't forget side cutters a screwdriver to lift up the uh edges first and then grab the side cutters put them in bend them down like that after pinching it and uh should work i'm hoping good luck guys good talking to you again bye bye